in the ocean, it just seems like life congregates around edges of some sort. In the Florida Keys, most of the islands run east and west, separating the Atlantic Ocean from the Gulf of Mexico. A turn to the south puts you on the edge of the reef, where the color change there represents a drop off to deeper water that, in the wintertime, lines up some of the reef and pelagic fish. In the summertime, we fish much further offshore on a different type of edge that we call weed line. The weed lines are formed by the wind pushing the sargasso weed in one direction and the current lining them up in another. Yeah, is that line pretty tight up to the east there? These weed lines are almost a self-contained floating ecosystem to themselves. The weed is home to the sargasso shrimp and crab that feed the filefish and other small fry that use weeds for protection and food. So it's obvious to follow that food chain on up to the larger dolphin and other pelagic species that feed on the smaller stuff. So the long and short of it is that any edge, whether it's on the edge of the reef, inshore, or far offshore in the forms of weed lines, are a natural place for fish to concentrate on. It. 